Scandals swirling all around him were simply too much to overcome. After 12 years, Wayne County Democrats gave executive Robert Ficano his walking papers in the primary. So what went wrong and does he have any regrets about it all? Well, Ficano sat down with our uh, Simon Shaykhead for a one-on-one -on -one interview. His political career has spanned decades and dominated news headlines for the past several years. Now, one day after losing a bid for re-election, Wayne County Executive Bob Ficano is agreeing to talk to us with nothing off limits. Bob Ficano faces our cameras as a politician who now knows his days in office are numbered. Thank you. Last night, he watched as Warren Evans, the county's former sheriff, who also served as Detroit's police chief, won by an overwhelming majority. Was it because Ficano lost the trust of his own community? He says no. There's never been any question about that. Your integrity. Uh, there's never been any question about that. Ficano points out he helped keep the auto show in Wayne County and Cobo Hall alive, worked to develop the Aerotropolis, created thousands of jobs, and worked with Washington. But an FBI investigation that stemmed from a sweetheart six-figure severance deal for a former employee, Takiya Mullen, has gotten the lion's share of media attention. So he was aware that you got this severance recently? Of course, he authorized it. When they actually looked at it, it was only if you were uh, forcibly separated or fired did you get the severance for the one year. I called her up from China. I said, Turkey, you got to return it. And she did. She did within two weeks. The money was returned, but the positive headlines were gone. Then other issues surfaced. Take the failed jail project, a new facility that had to be scrapped for coming in way over budget. Ficano maintains that and other budget problems are being fixed. Deficit elimination plan, that is going to happen. The jail is going to get built, and we sued them. And with the suit now, they've had an epiphany. They've come back, and uh, we're going to complete that pretty close to the price that we were talking about. And it definitely can be completed now at that same site. How about the corrupt public officials who took bribes and used their positions in Ficano's administration to line their pockets? Some have gone to prison, but the investigation remains open. As for betrayal of public trust... More than betrayed me, they betrayed the taxpayers and the citizens. I mean, I'm angry. I mean, it's, it, uh, they impact my reputation by their actions. Their yeah, I have 3,500 employees, and if somebody does something wrong, it ultimately always goes to the top. I mean, I take responsibility. Jeff Collins, a former U.S. attorney, joined Ficano's team as scandals broke. Part of an effort to repair the county's image as staffers fundraising on government time also came into question. But last night's election showed it simply wasn't enough. What I do is look forward, okay? Like I said, I've been blessed for 32 years of being in public office. I've tried my best to do the best that I can. If there was a problem that came up, I handled it right away. I committed about 14 to 16 hours a day to this job, and I spent as much time with my children as I could. If there was a regret, it only would have been that. Ficano won't say where things went wrong in his mind. Instead, he talks about the importance of the next five months. Is this a new day in Wayne County? Perhaps we won't know for a while. His final walk out the door comes at the end of the year. Ficano says he's not ruling out the possibility of ever seeking office again, but he says at this point it's just too early to say. From Wayne County, Simon Shaykhat, 7 Action News.